Hey everybody, welcome out to another Top 5. This week, in honor of Red Dead Redemption, is the Top 5 Western video games. Now, not only are, are we excited about this game coming out, especially since we can round up our posse, but so is... Angry, Angry Joe. Yeah, Angry That's right. Joe. Howdy, partner. My name's Angry Joe. And this here, this here is the game I've been waiting for all year long. Yee-haw! Now we do have a couple of honorable mentions. Andy, what honorable mentions do we have right now? Well, um, I think that uh, definitely a good honorable mention is Gun.Smoke. Gun.Smoke. <laughs> now, I remember reviewing this uh, many years ago, and uh, you know, Gun.Smoke was because of, of Gunsmoke TV series. Right, Couldn't, yeah. but Anyway, it was a ripoff of Commando, but a totally fun game, much, shooter. Much better than Commando, too. It, it had a lot more elements to it because you could upgrade your stuff. Um, and you can pick up a lot more power The power-ups. horses, the wanted signs, and you can buy more stuff. Cool game, uh, especially for the NES. Really cool game. Uh, Joey. I'm going to have to say Custer's Revenge. Custer's you know, Revenge. One of the most original <laughs> porno games where you're fighting an Indian, uh, arrows are shooting at you, and you're just trying to have some sex. It, it, no, it, what's ridiculous, General Custer's. You're, you're dodging Indian arrows to the woman tied to a cactus, and then you're doing her on the cactus. Wouldn't that be a little uncomfortable to you guys to have sex? You know, th things were done back, different back in the West, yeah. you know? <laughs> Pain like, is pleasure. They, they, they were like, there's a cactus, time to get me some, so I'm going to dodge these arrows. <laughs> he doesn't want to save her, he just wants to have sex with her. Number five. Mad Dog McCree. Now, okay, I know everybody makes fun of full motion video you know, games, mm -hmm. but this, when it was in the arcade, even though it has a little bit of slowdown, especially with the ports, totally awesome. It's kind of like Lethal Enforcers, it, it just the more of a bent on the the Western version. Yeah, we didn't put on here because we really didn't even more talking about. It. But you got you got the Kenny Loggins character in the beginning, the, the, like, the big old gray beard. He follows you around. I thought it was a completely awesome. Everybody played it just because it looked great. It was kind of like I guess you could you know say it was like Dragon's Lair, but with a light gun. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. A it, lot it, of really cool game dumped, dumped uh, probably hundreds of dollars into this game. Yeah, no, we. I, I used to play this game all the time. I mean, I just the graphics were so good because it was full motion video arcade. There's been nothing really like it since at mm -hmm. all. No. Nope. Um, and and it's totally easy to do. Actually, it's re-released on the Wii. Uh, does it stand the test of time? Probably not. Kind of. Uh, was it great back in the day? Yes, it was, and everybody played it. So that's how it got to number five. It's got the western theme. It's full motion video. It's in town. They did a lot of filming. Totally fun game. Number four. All right, number four comes to us uh, from the PlayStation 1. Actually, the first role-playing game that was released in the PlayStation 1 in 1996 is Wild Arms. Uh, this series exploded uh, after, you know, pretty much... Was it like nine of them now? There's been seven, seven. Wild Arms uh, since its first debut release. And, I mean, nothing says Western. Just, you just watch the intro to any of these games. I mean, you've got... You know, a nice Western guitar, cowboy theme, a man whistling in the, the background. The anime going on, too. The anime going on. Um, the whole, every single one of these games is just totally set around an, an old Western theme. It almost looks like a post-apocalyptic world. But now, out of all seven, which one's the best? I'm, I'm going to have to say Wild Arms 1 was good, but Wild Arms 2. But Wild Arms 2 is the Wild best Arms one? 2, uh, just, you know, spoiler alert, because of the whole Lord Blazer battle at the very end, where you are literally invincible, and you just waste this ancient demon uh, just for the fun of it. Like, it's awesome. Like, you're just like, you're, you take off, like, instead of, like, four nines, it's like 17 nines. And it's just, you literally are invincible, and it's just, it's awesome. Awesome well, game. And I thought, too, that they, they really did reinvent uh, role-playing, I think, mm -hmm. in the game. And and, uh, and they really took the time to look at all the details in the game, you know, so that you're really dealing with, like, you feel like you're more in a Western game than just, like, you know, let's slap a Final Fantasy version like a Western. It really is a totally different feeling role-playing game. Right. You know, armor, you know, you have, instead of just, like, a normal helmet, you have a 10-gallon hat. Uh, you had tools that you could use through the games. You could throw like bombs and do different things like that. So it's kind of like almost like a Metroid or, or Zelda feel with it, as well as the real-time battle system as well. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool, really cool game. Number three, Outlaws. Now a lot of people played and didn't play this game. It was PC only. It was a Lucas Arts game, but it took the Western genre and made it. I mean, they, they used a, a couple of the engines from like Rebel. Dark, Soul, Dark Rebel, Forces. Yeah, Dark yeah. Forces, and then made a first-person shooter. It was like four discs long, two to four discs. It was something ridiculous. But it, it just epitomized the... It was like playing a movie at the time when it did come out. And 
basically you had crazy guns, you had wild, you know, big environments to explore, and it was ahead of its time when it came out. I don't think it was that popular or big of a game because, you know, it was all about Star Wars and, and uh, mm -hmm. futuristic shooters at the time. But if you've never played this game, I'm not sure if it's on Steam, if it is downloaded. I mean, it was a completely amazing Western. The story was exactly like a, you know, you know, one of the uh, other Western movies. I can't think of a. Oh, all the spaghetti Western stuff, like Fistful of Dollars. Yeah, or yeah, anything with Clint Eastwood. Good, the bad, and the ugly. That kind of thing. You're you're an ex like sheriff, and somebody steals your family. Mm -hmm. You know that kind of thing. So if it, it fit the epitome of a Western. The graphics at the time were completely amazing. The sound effects were great. I, I totally recommend this game, especially if you're a classic first-person shooter fan. Um, and it was multiplayer. There was some crazy multiplayer. I used to play against my dad when uh, when we used to have it. But uh, an amazing game nonetheless, and uh, it, it epitomizes Western video games. Number two. Oregon Trail. It's now, so old. It now, is so old. <laughs> I, I venture to say that you know, maybe some of these games that we have on our list you might or might not have played. I guarantee you that everyone on this list has probably played Oregon Trail and they probably put some serious time into it. One of the reasons I love Oregon Trail is the one video game that I could play while I was in elementary school. Everybody played this game. Everybody asked the teacher, oh, I'm done with my work now. Can I play Oregon Trail? And done. learn about the Oregon Trail? Yeah. yeah the whatever. Gold rush? There was no learning. I just wanted to kill off my characters when I went through, like, yeah. wading through water. Oh, dysentery. It was the greatest <laughs> game because what you always did is you've had your friends and you named your characters after your friends. So you're like, Classmates. Yeah. Oh, Andy, you died of dysentery. Oh, oh. you died of farts or something. <laughs> My favorite thing though is um, when people put some some people put super superheroes as their characters, and uh, there was one time Aquaman, Aquaman did drown. <laughs> now, my personal favorite uh, feature of Oregon Trail is actually the hunting. Um, when you oh, go around, right. yeah, you get to you spin around in a circle while you're hunting. But the funny thing is, is that when you shoot something with these bullets, it just kind of spray over the, the the entire thing, which you have to buy at like the trading posts, and you have to be careful. Trade. Uh, yep, you got to trade for them. Anyway, when you kill animals, I mean, you gotta see this. Is it basically like the buffalo will go from like walking and it'll just flip over. <laughs> Like two frame hey, animation. How, how else are you gonna know it's dead in <laughs> it's, 1979 it's instant, graphics? <laughs> instant rigor mortis. I yeah. know that it helped my vocabulary. Now I know what to you know to do when I need to ford a river. <laughs> Let's take the wheels off the wagon, baby. <laughs> number one. And number one is a Konami all-time favorite classic game, Sunset Riders. So right. Sunset Riders. Sunset Riders. Yes, uh, that was actually one of the first games I reviewed, which was, it's kind of a little backstory here, when we first started reviewing games, um, you know, normally people, we, now we write a script around it and then put the clips together, we actually put the clips together first and I just ad-libbed it, I mean it was... Dino my! Yeah, if you watch it now, it's really bad, but uh, the game is completely awesome, uh, you know, it's got everything, you, you, you bang a hooker to, to get more life or power up for your weapons, it's a it's side-scrolling shooter, it's got cows you get to run across, it's multiplayer. It, it was an amazing arcade game, an amazing port. Uh, I don't know if you guys played it, but we, are, are you kidding we me? had this, the arcade this is one port of the very downstairs. first arcade games that I got. Yeah. Very, one of the very first. As soon as I had my four player thing, I was like, Turtles and Sunset Riders. Yeah. So that's, that's, it was a, just a, a staple you need to have. So it, it's not as in depth as uh, some of the other games on the list, but it is one of the most fun Western games you'll ever play. If you if you can uh, find it somewhere, buy it. Go it's to totally CC's Pizza, man. I guarantee you. So find a CC's Pizza in your neck For of the woods. For some reason, CC's Pizza always has Sunset 2049 Riders. and Sunset Riders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buck Hunter. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that uh, wraps up this uh, top five Western list. We look forward to seeing you guys online playing the Red Dead Redemption. We're going to form a posse and kick your ass, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, thanks for watching.